Okay, I'm starting my hen house. I've got these four by sixes laid out here because when I get all the nails, I got my saw horses there. I'm fixing a one at a time, pull the nails out of them, two by eights, and lay them all down here. And uh, <clears throat> I'll show you where I'm going to put the hen house. I'm actually standing where it's going to go, so I'm going to shut this off and move away a little bit. Yeah, I got three trees here. That oak tree by the corner of my building, that oak tree there, and this here. And the hen house is going to go sort of close to that tree in the middle, in between that tree and that tree. Sort of uh, centered in the middle. And uh, I want it there. Because right behind me where I'm standing is my back door and my kitchen window and uh, I can look out and make sure there's no animals getting to my my ladies <laughs> okay I'll let the games begin there we go that's a pretty good amount of wood right there I got six 16 footers and uh, I'll get plenty of wood out of that. I'm going to rip everything down the middle. And I uh, got a couple of 10 footers there, a couple of 8 footers. I had to cut a lot of bad off of it. Uh, some of them were split down the middle and rotted on the ends. And so uh, I believe that's going to be all the dimensional lumber I'm going to need. Uh, I'm going to probably need a couple of. Uh, uh, sheet supply wood and tomorrow I got to go to town and pick up uh, landscape timbers and if I get back early enough I'll start digging my holes set the landscape timbers in okay I am starting went to town I live about 30 miles from where I had to go get these timbers but they were 97 cents where I went and got them and here in my town they were uh, over four bucks so uh, I spent about you know five bucks in gas and saved oh I'm not gonna do math more than that in gas and uh, on the price of landscape timbers this is just uh, just the first pole in I'm not even gonna use concrete I'm just gonna pack this dirt back in around them I am trying to go as cheap as possible on this I've even got a friend of mine who has some old rusty tin that might go good for the roof here it's going to be about six and a half foot on this end and about seven foot on the other end here's my second hole it's going to be roughly seven feet wide six and a half six eight something like that I'm just eyeballing this I will have a little bit of overhang with my tin and then it's going to go 12 feet down that way that's just the coop eight feet I'm going to have the door on that end facing this way and then I'll have the hen house uh, at the end of 12 feet on that end I'm going to put the house so uh, and it's going to rain tomorrow it's supposed to rain most of the weekend too so I'm, it's really late it's like 334 I'm going to work my butt off and try to get these poles in I got two four five I got six poles I'm going to put in and this is hard as a rock out here. I'm only getting about a, an inch of dirt with every bite of this. So uh, I'll show you as I go along. All right, here we go. Seven post holes. Those two that are close together, I'm either going to have the door here or here. Uh, these poles here, the chicken house itself will be this way. It's going to be two feet off the ground about four feet high about four feet wide and uh, right at right at seven feet uh, this way okay well really not much I can do till I get this wood over here ripped I'm gonna rip it all down the middle and <laughs> breezy you got a you got a squirrel treed you a squirrel dog, huh? Where is it at? You a squirrel dog? 
Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put this video up. And uh, tomorrow, if it ain't raining, I'm going to get out here and start ripping them down the middle. Maybe I can uh, get a little something done. This weekend, my friend will be home that has the tin. And uh, we're going to take a uh, ride out to his house way out in the country there. And he said he had some tin out behind his barn. And uh, it might still have some life left in it. And if it does, that's what I'm going to get. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, I guess this is going to be a multi-part video and actually what I'll do when I get them all when, when I get get it finished I'll take whatever videos I got two three four and put them all together and make one video but in the meantime I'll just put this up so you can see my progress thanks for watching alrighty that's half the day and uh, I got the hardest part done getting the thing up and square here I guess you can tell by looking where the door is going to be and what I need to do now is get my rafters up in there yeah I gotta knock that top of that off and I actually got I think I got one or two more I gotta square up with the with the top of that but uh, I'm gonna do that next and then start putting rafters back and forth here and uh, then I gotta start pricing here I'll get back and walk around it I'll give you a 360 the uh, the house itself is going on this end Yeah, it was downright frigid this morning. I think it was 65. Had to dig out the jackets. Light the stove. How about if we don't do 360, we just do like 300? <laughs> well, that's my progress so far. Before the day's out. I'll have the rafters up and uh, I need to go to town so I'm going to start pricing chicken wire and uh, but first I'm going to drink me some sweet tea and eat some uh, black eyed peas and cornbread. See ya. Alrighty. I got a couple of cross braces up there. I got, let's see which way is better to look at it. Rafters. There we go. Whew. That's a good day's work for one person. I did have to call my wife out here to help me hold up uh, the rafters because I couldn't do both ends. So, uh, so far, this chicken house has cost me about eight bucks and uh, whatever Mexican food's going to cost because my wife wouldn't help unless I agreed to take her to eat Mexican food. And, uh, of course, uh, I, uh, I agreed. I need the help. Plus, I like Mexican food. Okay. I can't do anything until I get the roofing tin. And, uh, I gotta get the chicken water. Oh. And just to go back over where the house itself is gonna be. This is the door. I'm gonna make that. And the house... It's going to be about two foot off the ground, about four feet wide, uh, about four feet up, and I'm going to have a, a sloped roof. And I'll have a door on this end that I can swing open to get all my beautiful eggs. Whew, boy, I'm, I'm out of breath. Okay, so I'm putting this up. Thanks for watching. First, let me apologize for that last clip. Uh, it was pretty jumpy from me walking around, and I'll let YouTube fix it. And uh, it was worse than when I started out. So here's what I got. I bought some metal roofing. Uh, I never did make it over there to my friend's house 
to uh, get his and I bought some plywood and here's what I got so far there's the chicken door down there the, the hot tub and exercise equipment will go on this end <laughs> Air conditioner, I don't have the air conditioner mounted. It's going to be central AC. Okay, my wife and I got this one side chicken wire tight and nailed down. And let me tell you what I've discovered there is an art to getting chicken wire tight. This end, this side is done. And this end, all we got to do is pull the bottom edge down there tight. And nail it down and then I'm going to dig a trench around the bottom edge and tuck that wire down in there so and bury it so nothing will dig up under there oh it's coming it's slow I've had to take care of a whole bunch of other things and in, in between doing this so if I haven't answered email or been on the been watching other people's videos it's because I've been so busy trying to get this done and if I was just 20 minutes earlier I could have had some free adult laying hens and uh, there was a guy on Craigslist giving away as many as you wanted because he had more than he can handle and he was even giving away pigs free and uh, I missed it oh well I would have had to have stuck them in my shop or something until I got this finished all right, I'm going to keep building. <laughs> okay, I decided to make a little hobbit door. Trying really hard to hold this camera steady. I got four more rafters to cut, and then I can put my roof on it. And this end is going to be shingled. This roof is going to have shingles on it, and uh, that's what I got. I'll have this. Uh, I'll have this done before the day is out, and I think I can have that uh, metal roof nailed on. I don't know if I'll have time to shingle this today, but uh, I'll show you what I got as the day wears on. Alright, I got the roof done. I've got the doors put on. I gotta put a ramp and then uh, somehow I've got to figure out an escalator or a stairway so the chickens can get to the second floor where the sauna hot tub and exercise equipment will be still got to tighten up this uh, I just got a hook to the top I don't have uh, this one side done that side I got to tighten it at the bottom this side is strung like a guitar twang Okay, sorry for the spinning. I'm going to give you another walk around. Well, I'll just show you the roof from this side. Whew, there we go. I'm going to shut this off, catch my breath, and tell you a funny story. Uh... Many years ago, probably 12 or 13 years ago, my wife and I owned some property with a mobile home on it up on uh, Highway 3 between Benton and Bossier City, Louisiana. Well, uh, we lived there for a couple of years and then we bought another place and then we bought the place we're at now and we never sold the other place. 
Uh, it was a old, really old 12 by 60 mobile home, and we had a bunch of just stuff stored in it. So uh, while we were living there, I built a lean-to up against a shed that was already there when we moved in. And uh, everybody, including my wife, picked at me about how many nails I put in, how much cement I put in the poles. Uh, you know, I, I do tend to overbuild stuff, I admit it. So, what? I'm on the video, hon. Do you want to come say hi to YouTube? No. Hi, YouTube. She says hi. Hi. So, then I built the carport. Same thing. Everybody picked at me. Too many nails. Too much concrete. Didn't need to build it that sturdy. Along comes a tornado. Never found the mobile home. Never saw it again. Gone. Everything in it, gone. Shed, gone. The two things that were left in that tornado were my carport and the lean-to that I had built up against the shed. Shed was gone. So uh, everybody who knows me and knows how I build things said, if we ever have a tornado here, we should run and get in the chicken house. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. And another thing, somebody asked me about all them dead uh, pine trees. Let me tell you about them SOB electric people. Charlie and I come home one day. And they were in our yard with this gigantic truck spraying all the trees up underneath the power lines in our yard. Didn't tell us what kind of poison it was or if it would be dangerous to animals or kids. So that's what we're looking at. All this dead brown stuff as the electric company just helping themselves and driving around in my yard spraying poison. Who knows what kind of poison it is. But uh, damn sure it worked. Everything's dead, including some stuff we had planted. Okay. Uh, probably going to do one more video. I'll show you this when I, when I got it all, the, the chicken wire all tight and my box is built and uh, ready for some uh, chickens to move into. Oh, 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 yeah. I come up with a name. Hendominium. Uh, I think it's a 1952 Jeep. I think he calls his the chicken bunker. I'm going to call mine the Hendominium. See ya. And thus ends the Hendominium Saga. I'm done. I got a couple of little details to finish, like the bottom of that house. I gotta close that in with some chicken wire. But uh, I'm done. I made that door just a little while ago. I'm really proud of that door. got the roost up there for the summertime roost their summer home and I got this little window here that I'll keep closed during the winter I got three of these I just closed one for now and I'll leave it open during the summer so I won't have uh, chickens die on a heat exhaustion Okay, I'm going to put this video up, and uh, next week I'm going to put all three videos together, so if you've already watched them, then no need to watch it again. I just want to put all three together, so if somebody's uh, looking for how to build a hen house, they can stumble across this, and, you know, anyway, I just like to put them all together instead of having so many two three minute videos well uh thanks for following me on this it's been kind of an enjoyable project in the description i'll add up what money i actually have in this uh all the two by fours i was able to salvage from my carport tear down uh, they were two by eights and i ripped them all down the middle uh 
I bought the uh, landscape timbers for 97 cents each. I bought five sheets of plywood and with the fifth one I made I bought six sheets I'm sorry with the sixth one I made the uh, door and the window and I bought three sheets of uh, tin the shingles were given to me and uh, the little plastic baskets in there that I got for the nests and I bought the two by twos and I'll add it oh and I bought all the buckets and stuff I'm not I'm not gonna add that up that's just not a uh, part of building a hen house it's just uh, part of having a hens hens so uh thanks for watching well I got my birds couldn't wait any longer I wanted to uh, stain this red I will get to it but uh, I just wanted to go ahead and get them get them in here get them used to the pen and get them used to my dogs <laughs> now they got three to worry about oh they found the water great man I put them in there and within seconds they were eating and uh, I was hoping they'd find the water pretty quick because it was about a 40 mile drive back home in the wind with them in a pen in the back of my truck so alrighty there we have it I'm gonna stain this red I want to paint the inside of the house white so I can get in there a couple times a year and clean it out who knows I know I got a lot to learn about chickens but maybe I won't paint it white I hear that if it's light on the inside of their house they'll lay more and I thought painting it white in there would keep it brighter for longer hours in the day. And uh, the brown ones, the tan ones, are Buff Orpingtons. He only had three. I wanted six. So she gave me three white ones and uh, something rock. I forgot what she said. So if you know what them white ones are with, her, with the word rock in it, let me know. My neighbor had a yard sale. I just bought all this cast iron for five bucks. Five dollars. And I've seen these cast iron fry pans going for 15 and 20 bucks each, the old ones. Oh, and I bought a couple of kerosene lanterns for two bucks each with uh, fluid in them. Okay, uh, I just checked on my chickens or they're uh they haven't gotten into their house yet uh, i did pitch one in there and he came right back out so i guess i'll figure out that it's going to be warmer in there tonight all right i won't bother you every once in a while i'll show you my chickens i know nobody's excited as i am about having them but uh i'll try to i'll try to refrain <laughs>